Okay, now this is uh, the second example of peer track and uh, the purpose of this demonstration is to show how to incorporate time dependent covariate in the Cox proportional hazard model. So one advantage of using the Cox model is the ability to incorporate time dependent or time varying covariates. And the example is the famous Stanford Heart Transplant Program. Um, in this example, the time varying covariate is Z of T, which is zero if the patient has not received the transplant at time T. And Z of T equals to one if the patient has received a transplant at time t. So this covariate changes over time and it has a value for each value for the time t. Okay. And the Stanford Heart Transplant data that appear in Crowley and Who uh, consists of 103 patients and 69 of them received transplants. And we're going to use the SAS data step uh, to reading a data set called HEART. Okay. And for each patient in the program, there is a birth date and the date of acceptance and uh, a date last seen. The survival time in days is defined as time equals date of last seen minus date of acceptance. And the survival time is said to be uncensored if status equal to 1 or censored if status equal to 0. Depending on whether date of last seen is the date of death or the closing date of the study. So status is the censoring variable. The age in years at acceptance into the pro, uh, program is ACC accept age equal to the accepted date minus the birth date divided by 365. And this is because both the date of acceptance and birth date are measured in days. Previous open heart surgery for each patient is indicated by the variable uh, pre-surge. So that's another covariant. For each transplant recipient, there's a date of transplant, XPL date, and three measures, N mismatch, antigen, and mismatch of the tissue type mismatching. The waiting period wait time in days for a transplant recipient is calculated as the wait time is the XPL date minus the acceptance date. So that's how many days they waited until they get a transplant. And the age in years at transplant is XPL age equal to XPL date minus birth date divided by 365. For those who do not receive heart transplant, the so wait time, uh, XPL age, and mismatch antigen and mismatch variable contain missing values because they don't have any values. So as you can see, uh, here is the uh, data step. Okay. Uh, first, we use the option year cutoff equal to 1900 so that we um, we know, we, we ensure that the two-digit year uh, XX is the year 19XX. Uh, okay. So you can see there are a couple of dates in here. Um, this example is good for learning how to handle SAS date variables. Okay. So we're going to uh, read in ID and then read in all the dates, status, pre-surge, and the other couple of uh, covariates. 
okay give them some labels and then do some calculation these are the derived variables for survival time age acceptance uh, and if uh, the transplant date is not missing so a transplant really happened we calculate the wait time and the age at the transplant okay so let's uh, read in this data set Oh, I think I also included uh, uh, the first chunk model, a time-dependent variable, X status. So you can see the syntax for modeling the time-dependent variable X status is uh, very simple. So this is a, a call for PHREG and the model statement. So this is uh, as if, you know, just as usual uh, Cox model. but if you look at here, there's an if, then, and else that, uh, statement. So if the wait time is missing, or the time is less than the wait time, then we say x status equal to zero. Okay. So if there's no wait time, that means they probably did not receive any transplant, or time is less than wait time. So uh, somehow they uh, waited out, you know, they, they dropped out or they censored or whatever reason they died. Uh, then they didn't wait that long to get a wait time. Then they did not get a transplant. So x of t equal to zero. Otherwise, x of t equal to one. So now the x status becomes the time dependent covariate uh, we were talking about uh, at the very beginning here. Okay, so this is uh, one way to incorporate a time dependent covariate in Cox model using some programming statement if then and else. Uh, it's a little bit counterintuitive because uh, when you call PHREG and then the model statement, uh, when you call the model statement, it seems that x status is not defined yet, okay? Because now here you're defining x status, uh, so it's kind of out of order. So if you're wondering about this, uh, then you need to really think like SAS, okay? So when SAS reading the data, it reads by line by line, okay? Once it read a record, then it start to uh, construct um, part of the partial likelihood using that record. And when it sees x status, then SAS will look for where it can find the x status, then it will execute uh, this chunk of code to compute an x status variable and then put into the partial likelihood. So these chunk of codes are executed every time you get a new observation read in. Okay. So there's a lot of computation going on. All right. So once you uh, fit uh, the model, you can see it's the usual uh, output. Um, and uh, you have the test of global, no hypothesis, and uh, then uh, you have the analysis of maximum likelihood ratio, uh, likelihood estimates. You get the p-values and you get the um, other uh, hazard ratio and beta estimates, etc. So this time-dependent covariate, you know, the output are uh, is not really different from like the age at acceptance. Okay, you just look at the p-value to determine whether it's significant or not. Okay. Uh, the second chunk of the SAS code is really about modeling several time-dependent variables. Now we have X status, X age, transplant age, and mismatch scores. So we have the PROC, PHREG, and the model statement. Now we put in three time-dependent covariates. And we want to exclude those who were not typed. So if not typed equal to, uh, not equal to y, then 
we include them in the study, then we use the if, then, and else statement. Uh, similarly, if wait time equal to missing or if time is less than wait time, then we assign all these three to zero. Otherwise, the x status equal to one, then x age becomes the transplant age of the transplant, x score equal to mismatch. So if you run that chunk of code, uh, everything else, you know, the output is mostly similar to others. So if you look at the output, and you can make inferences, uh, seems here you have the, uh, now after you adjust for uh, age and uh, the x score, then the x status actually becomes significant. Uh, so this is just for demonstration purposes, how to incorporate time covariate, the time-dependent covariates in Cox model.